Marcus Garvey was born on August 17, 1887 in St. Anne's Bay, Jamaica. His mother, Sarah Jane Richards, and father, Marcus Messiah Garvey Sr., had 11 children together, but only Garvey and his sister, Indiana, reached maturity. Slavery had been abolished over 50 years before Marcus Garvey was born in 1833. During his childhood, Garvey knew no difference between whites and blacks. His father had an adjoining property with a white minister whose daughter was Garvey's playmate. At age 14, the minister sent his daughter to Scotland and told her she was not to write or see Garvey ever again because he is a nigger. That's when he learned about race and the different social lives of blacks and whites. Years later, sometime in the year 1900, Marcus Garvey took an apprenticeship at his godfather, Alfred Burroughs, printing business. In 1905, he moved to Kingston, Jamaica to work as a compositor in the printing house of P.A. Benjamin Limited, a local printer. In 1907 or 1908, he helped organize and took part in the printer strike, where workers refused to work unless certain demands were met. This unsuccessful strike influenced him into political interests. In 1911, Garvey began traveling countries in Central America. He then left for London, where he attended Birkbeck College to study law and philosophy. During his time traveling, he realized and learned that black was an inferior race all over the world. He decided that the best way to improve their standard of life was to unite the black race. In 1914, Marcus Garvey returned to Jamaica and formally formed the University Negro Improvement Association, or the UNIA. The UNIA was co-founded by Amy Ashwood, who later becomes his first wife. The goal of the UNIA was to unite all people of African ancestry of the world to one great body to establish a country in absolute government of their own. Another aim of the Universal Negro Improvement Association was to provide industrial and educational opportunities for black people. Garvey reached out to Booker T. Washington the American educator who founded the Tuskegee Institute to embark on a lecture giving tour to raise funds to start a similar institute in Jamaica of his own. On March 6, 1916, Garvey boarded the SS Talek to leave Jamaica for America. After visiting the Tuskegee Institute, Marcus Garvey settled in Harlem, New York. In 1917, Garvey and 13 others formed the first Universal Negro Improvement Association in the United States. He began publishing the widely distributed newspaper entitled Negro World to convey his messages around the world. The UNIA believed in racial segregation. Marcus Garvey believed that blacks and whites could never unite. The UNIA encouraged blacks to strive to become independently successful. Because of these beliefs, the organization had people against it, such as the National Association for the Advancement of Colored People, also known as the NAACP. By 1919, there were about 2 million members of the UNIA worldwide. The Black Star Line, a shipping company that would establish trade and commerce between the Africans in America and Africa, had begun soon after. Such rapid successes gained attention from many people and even caused an assassination attempt in Marcus Garvey. In 1920, Garvey got divorced and remarried to his personal secretary, Amy Jock. They had two sons together. August of 1920, the first international UNIA convention was held at Madison Square Garden in New York City. Garvey talked about having pride in African culture in the messages of the UNIA. Most people found his method inspiring, but not all. W.E. Du Bois, a black leader and an officer of the NAACP, called Garvey the most dangerous enemy of the Negro race in America. In 1921, Marcus Garvey went on a speaking tour around the world to talk about the UNIA. He visited Africa and said the following speech. Hello, citizens of Africa. I greet you in the name of the Universal Negro Improvement Association and African Communities League of the World. You may ask, what organization is that? 
It is for me to inform you that the Universal Negro Improvement Association is an organization that seeks to unite into one solid body the 400 million Negroes of the world to link up the 15 million Negroes of the United States. The FBI had hired five black agents to investigate the activities of the UNIA. In 1922, Marcus Garvey and a few other members of the UNIA were arrested and charged with mail fraud involving the Black Star Line and false advertising. He and the other members lost the trial and were sentenced to five years in prison. In 1927, Garvey was released from prison and deported back to Jamaica. Upon returning to Jamaica, Marcus Garvey focused on new projects. He started a daily newspaper entitled The Black Man and established Jamaica's first modern political party called the People's Political Party. The People's Political Party campaigned for self-governance, workers' rights, land reform, education, and aid to the poor. In 1931, Garvey launched the Edelweiss Amusement Company to help artists earn their livelihood from their talent. In 1935, he left his family in Jamaica and moved to London to work and continue to involve himself in black rights. In 1940, Marcus Garvey died of a stroke in London. 24 years later, in 1964, his remains were exhumed and taken to Jamaica. There, the government proclaimed Garvey to make his first national hero and re-entered him at the shrine in the National Heroes Park.